women. My wife and her two sisters. Because when you marry a woman with sisters, believe me, it's a package deal. I guess my personal hell began with a Bernstein Flynn family weekend. Nora was back for their cousin's wedding, and afterwards, the sisters celebrated their reunion with an old family tradition. Oh, wow. Now that was a sensational wedding. <laughs> okay, I'll start. Beach wedding, sushi buffet. Hungry seagulls, bad idea. <laughs> what was with the wheat-free cake? Hello, cake without flour is pudding. And the trashing begins at 3.02. Pay up, Tour. Damn it. It just makes you realize how perfect my Someone wedding was. Someone should have told the bride that she sat in tar. <laughs> Why did she even have us in her wedding? Aren't we like third cousins twice removed? Oh, honey, At least you look good in the dress. Oh, come on, Bess. You look beautiful. Yeah, for a snake that swallowed a Range Rover. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I had to fly 28 hours in coach for that. You didn't, baby. You flew 28 hours in coach for this. I am just so glad to have all my girls back together again. Oh, Mom. <laughs> Hugging and crying. 303. <laughs> The wedding over, Nora was heading back to Africa. Now, when I say goodbye to my brother, it's a handshake, maybe a high five if we're feeling sentimental. But these women can't separate until they've done everything together. I mean everything. Nora, I wish you'd let me drive you to the airport tomorrow. No, it's 6 a.m. Plus, I want to get there early to get a magazine. <laughs> Almost done, baby. <laughs> You know, just because she sold her virginity for a pair of Levi's, she doesn't have to take it out on me. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so here's something you're not going to believe. I am getting kicked out of my apartment. <sighs> Why? Because I haven't paid rent in the last six months. God, my landlord is so anal. <laughs> hey, what happened to the 400 I loaned you last month? Oh, I gave half to Xander, who's really having money problems, and the other half I uh, spent on beads. Beads. Mm -hmm. When I had that business plan to make the little earrings and sell them the little boutiques. And how many earrings have you sold? Hello, I haven't taken the earring making class yet. <laughs> well, I did just get a bonus at work. Let me talk to Steve. Yes, no, enough is enough. Annie, she supported you when you went to blackjack dealer school. You know, the learn to be a medium retreat. That week you thought you might want to be a ship's captain. You were never going to be a ship's captain. <laughs> You know, Nora, you're mean. I am not mean, I'm honest. Tell her I'm not mean. Well, you're a little mean. <sighs> After all, you did steal the heads off all my Barbies. Oh, my God, I did not. And why are you still talking about those stupid Barbies? <laughs> well, someday, little Megan might want to play with those Barbies, and she won't be able to because you took their heads. Oh. <laughs> I gotta blow. Mom won't let me leave the country without seeing her herbalist. She thinks flaxseeds will help me to redirect my negative energy. I don't know why she thinks flax can do what pot and booze couldn't, but hey, what the hell? <laughs> Wait, aren't we at least gonna see you again tonight? You know I hate long goodbyes. Aww. I'll miss you, you crazy girl. Love you. Love you too. Email me. Oh, Nora, do you have to smoke? Sorry. I was lying down, I was in pain. I, I thought I'd had sex. <laughs> Sad the wedding's over and Nora's leaving and everything's just going to be ordinary again. Mm. Well, if by sad you mean thrilled to have a minute alone with my wife, then yeah, I'm sad. <laughs> mm. Smooth. Yeah, I just don't grow hair there. <laughs> <gasps> I just felt the baby kick. <laughs> Guess again. <laughs> So 
I'm in the kitchen listening to Dad go on and on about the angioplasty of some cousin I swear I thought was dead. And I get this call from Kenya. They're pulling the funding on our documentary. Wait, the one about the gazelles? But they're so cute. Yeah, well, apparently not as cute as Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> Discovery Channel went over budget on behind the scenes at Friends, and we got axed. Uh, yeah, well, you know, boy, that is a problem. You know, I bet if we all mull it over in our respective beds, it'll seem much clearer in the morning. Boy, can my life possibly suck more right now? Well, there's my cue. But you know, Nora, for what it's worth, I think it's a sign. A sign? What do you mean a sign? What are you talking about? Look, you can sit here and go on and on about how you got screwed, or, and I mean this with no disrespect to your long-standing career as a pessimist, you could see it as an opportunity. That's all I'm saying. Good night. Nora Stevens, right. It is a sign. A sign you should stay in L.A. for good. Whoa, whoa no, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. See, it's not, uh, the sign that I saw is not necessarily pointing in this direction. But you don't could. you see? It makes total sense. We haven't seen you for more than a weekend in years. Ever since the divorce, you've been running away. No, I've been running away ever since the first date I brought home after the divorce. Ended up marrying my sister. Oh, oh well, come on. You hated me. He took me to a batting cage. It was fun. It was dirty and bald were flying at my head. <laughs> Nora, if you're not here, the only way little Megan mm -hmm. or Jeremy will ever know her Auntie Nora is from the things I tell her. Don't you want to be here to defend yourself? <laughs> Come home, I miss you. And so Nora decided to stay with us. The thing is, when your wife's pregnant, you're supposed to give her whatever she wants. My buddy had to get his wife Kung Pao Chicken every night. I had to give my wife Nora. All I'm saying is, I think it's time to get out there again. I'm going to set you up. Uh-uh, no, moving on. Why not? You haven't even heard about him yet. Doesn't matter. If he's a loser, I'll blame you. If he thinks I'm a loser, I'll blame you. If by some miracle he's not a loser and we dive into a bacchanalia of fabulous, life-changing sex, eventually he'll discover I have baggage, I'll discover he's an emotional infant, and at that point, rest assured, I will blame you. Hey. Ooh, I'm not eating. I already had a power bar, two bites of cottage cheese, and an ice blended mocha no whip. <laughs> so, Nora, you'll be happy to know that your lecture the other day, although mean, did inspire me. I have found a way to get the rent money. Right. Good for you. I am selling my eggs on eBay. <laughs> Are you gonna take this one, or should I? Annie, we as women, are programmed to guard our eggs, to protect our little Megans and Jeremys. And, hmm, how can we do that? I know, by not selling them with old jelly jars and lava lamps to any insomniac with a mouse pad and a credit card. <laughs> but Felicity's ponytail went for 12000 <gasps> Oh, damn it. Oh, you didn't pee in your pants again, did you? <laughs> I'm not sure. I should check. Sometimes pregnancy sucks. You know what? I can go with. I'm good. Oh my God, did you see who we just passed? Who? Elliot. Nora's ex-husband, Elliot? Uh-huh. And he's kissing a woman. He left Nora to go be gay. Now, let's go. Oh, my God, we have to tell her. No, we don't. Oh, yes, we do. I can't keep this from her. I know. That's why I didn't tell you two years ago when I found out. Okay, what? <laughs> you knew he was straight and you didn't say anything? Well, there are times when, as a sister, you fudge the truth in order to spare your sister's feelings. Uh-huh. Like when I tell you you look great in that lavender twin set. I love that twin set. So do I. <laughs> Nora. <laughs> the man that you were married to for five years, the man that you pledged your love to in front of your whole family and a lot of his creepy musician friends, appears to be heterosexual. What? 
He's here. Now, this may not be 100% sure. I mean, he could just be a non-practicing gay. You know, like a... like a lapsed Catholic. <laughs> be right back. Nora, wait! You can't just go over there like this. <laughs> okay, now go. Elliot. Nora! You're back! You know, I supported you so you could stay home and write your rockabilly sob songs. I pretended to enjoy the fumbling, selfish sex. Now you can do something for me. You can tell me. Was it all a lie? The Sondheim CDs? The Firemen of Santa Monica calendar? The clogs? You know how you are. If I told you I was in love with another woman, you'd have been pissed. I was trying to avoid a scene. Too late. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, uh, and if you're hoping the fumbling will get better, honey, it won't. So, after seeing her ex at the restaurant, Nora was at an all-time low. An opportunity best pounced on like a cougar. Or Nora. She agreed to the blind date before she even knew what hit her. What is that? That is not the date outfit I laid out for you. I am not wearing a lavender twin set. <laughs> well then, Stephen, you're going to have to change. Honey, I love you, but I'm not wearing it either. If Nora's wearing black, I can't have you in black. We want his eye to go to Nora without other visual distractions. Okay, let's get our facts straight. He thinks you won a Pulitzer Prize. Oh, I fetched a little about the divorce, and you caught and cooked tonight's dinner. It's salmon. Now pull those shoulders back and smile. Mom, is that you? Kevin, hey. Hi. Kevin, hi. So glad you could make it. This is my sister, Nora. Isn't she just adorable? Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. I'm sardonic to the point of bitter. Haven't had sex in two years, and my gay ex-husband isn't gay. <laughs> If armed with that knowledge, you feel capable of proceeding with the date, that's fine. Or we can pack it in now and each get on with our lives. It's your call, really. Crab puff? <laughs> Nora, sweetie, can I see you in the kitchen for a second? What the hell is your problem? I am trying to help you. You know, help would be, hey, I know a nice guy. Maybe you two could go out together, see if you hit it off. But no, you have to cook my dinner, pick my outfit, make me your project. Just like when we were little and you used to dress me up like I dream of genie. Well, I am not I dream of genie, and you're just going to have to learn to live with that. <laughs> but you could be. Oh, Nora, I just want you to have a happy life. Oh, God. What is a happy life? Yours? This picture-perfect, yuppie fantasia where everything is all about how it looks to other people? You live life like you're still riding by it on some stupid float. Well, I got news for you, your highness. Parade's over and nobody gives a crap. Well, at least I'm nice. <laughs> at least I'm not this black cloud that comes and rains her bitter bile all over everybody's picnic. And at least... I'm not so scary that my own husband had to fake being gay just to get away from me. <laughs> which I knew two years ago, but I chose not to tell you. You what? Oh, that's right. I knew. <laughs> but I chose not to tell you for your own good. Thank you so very much for appreciating that. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh, that's right. Run away. That's a selfish nor thing to do. Oh, my God. You think I'm selfish? Uh -huh. You think I'm selfish? Ever since you've been pregnant, it's baby, 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 and we don't want to know the sex, and we want it to be a surprise, and we sealed the information in an envelope, and we're not going to open it until New Year's. So there's another holiday that's all about you. <laughs> Well, guess what? I held a light up to the envelope, and it's a boy! <laughs> you're leaving? Well, what do you mean you're leaving? You can't leave? Annie, I think history has proven that Bess and I cannot live in the same hemisphere. But what about me? I need you. I'm going through a lot right now. I've got this whole egg thing going on. You're not and... still selling your eggs on eBay. Oh, no. No, good. No, I found a reputable donor agency through the Yellow Pages. The ad was really cute. It had a little sperm with a little hat. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Oh, my God. 
God, if you leave, you're not going to be able to give me that look. I'll call you long distance, and you'll be able to hear the disapproval in my voice. <sighs> promise? I promise. I gotta go pack. Oh, Dad, how could you be out there just swimming laps? This whole family's falling apart. You know Nora's taking off to New Zealand? Actually, since the borrowed Bonnie Bell lip smacker incident of 79, <laughs> I have learned to steer clear of those two when they're fighting. <laughs> the hell out of me. Oh, relax. Bess has already described it in vivid detail. Yeah, well, just so you know, it's chilly in here. I found this old box in Mom's attic, and I'm leaving it for Bess. At two in the morning? If that's what time it is, then I guess, yeah. <laughs> so I suppose you think I'm this evil shrew, right? I'm just here for milk. Well, I'm not leaving because of one fight, all right? I'm leaving because of these. <laughs> Ball heads. You didn't do this recently, did you? Third grade. I have a mother who used to be a Playboy bunny, an older sister who every time she turned around, somebody put a crown on her head, and a younger sister who they refer to as the hot one. <laughs> Don't need to be a shrink to read the symbolism of the gesture. Listen, Nora, I want to tell you something. I know it's kind of weird you and I had that date and I ended up with your sister. Oh, yeah, I, I've been pining away. Didn't you notice at the wedding when they asked if anybody had any objections? I wanted to raise my hand. Okay, hi, 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 hi. hi, hi. I'm trying to give you a compliment. Fine. What? When I first met you, I actually thought you were more attractive than Bess. In fact, I thought you were beautiful. It was your personality I couldn't stand. Really? Thank you. <laughs> And if you ever tell her that I said this, I will, of course, have to kill you. Understood. See that she gets the heads. Wait, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. Thank you. Is that me? Hello? Beth? What? What happened? All right, don't go anywhere. I'm on my way. All right, I need to get off the plane. No, I said I'm getting off! I need to get off! And Nora, who is no longer welcome to fly to friendly skies, didn't exactly make her exit. And thank God, because I was stuck in San Francisco for the day on business. Funny thing was, Bess could have called her folks. She could have called Annie. But she didn't. She called Nora. But I can't be on bed rest. We're introducing our new cookie dough yogurt snacks, and I'm observing the focus group. Not anymore. Now get in bed. Steven will be here soon. I had to go to belly size. I had to kick his high as that unwed teenage mother next to me. Oh, my God, are you okay? I got here as soon as I could. How's your placenta? And the doctor said everything should be fine as long as she stops being hugged by you and gets back in bed. <laughs> I brought you French onion soup. It's a little cold and the cheese is eaten off. Okay, it was my lunch, but when Nora called, I was so worried, all I could think was best like soup. And I just threw it in my purse and... Wow, those new maxi pads really work. <laughs> Can I get you anything else, sweetie? Hmm? Uh, yeah, my, my briefcase, my fax machine, my life as a vertical person back. <laughs> Look, I know Nora's not going to be here to take care of you, but I will be. Actually, I was thinking I would stay. Really? Yeah, I figure it wouldn't kill me to be around when Mount St. Pregnant here finally blows. <laughs> Thanks, and I'm sorry. You're welcome. You should be, and me too. Now, how about a foot massage? Oh, that would be so great. <sighs> what? There's nothing wrong with your hands, is there? Hi, hi, baby. Hi, baby. She's my golden on the Two sets up in the Rosenfelds. So there we are, Frog. Your mother orders Chinese food. We were in Czechoslovakia. Knickers and stuff. So the donor agency rejected my eggs. What? Hi. 
Apparently, they only wanted really driven, highly successful eggs. Well, that's ridiculous, because those are amazing eggs. Those are premium eggs. Bernstein Flint eggs. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's probably for the best. You should keep your eggs. Nora might want to get pregnant someday, and God knows what she's done to hers. It's <laughs> <laughs> so mean. <laughs> You know what this reminds me of? What? <laughs> when we were little, and uh, Bess would do that voice and make us believe she was our fairy godmother. What, no fond memories of me hiding in the closet doing the voice of Satan? <laughs> that was you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I never knew that. Hello! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Any little girls here with wishes? Yes, I have a wish. I wish you would stop using that voice. <laughs> what voice? Oh, Bess, that's enough. Oh, God, I hate that. <laughs> Bess? I'm not Bess. I <laughs> see Bess down there in the bed with you. <laughs> well, then you'll see me putting my cold feet oh, all over her. Oh, oh, no, 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 And that's how I wound up with three sisters in my bed. Which is a lot less erotic than you'd think, since at the time, I was sacked out on the couch. I guess it's something we guys don't understand. All the fighting, all the hugging. But the next day, I did call my brother. We talked about how the Dodgers have never really recovered from the Piazza trade. And I did feel better. <laughs> 